Baltimore will kick off from your right. Dallas will be receiving. United's looking. Flips it. And it is intercepted by Chuck Howley. Chuck Howley coming to the 35 to the 40. Chuck Howley to the 50, and he's out of bounds. And driving him out was Johnny Unitas, who threw the ball. Ron Gardine is deep for the Baltimore Colts. Beautiful kick. Gardine feels it, fumbles, and a recovery inside the 10. Dallas ball. And there's a look at how it happened. Ron Gardine. Gardine trying to get going to his left, but the ball fading a little way to his right to perhaps be attributed to this win. But another key play on a kicking play. And a big break for the Dallas Cowboys. Kick is good. The Dallas is first on the scoreboard. Action will continue here at the Super Bowl to score. The Dallas Cowboys three, the Baltimore Colts nothing. Your average 45 yards a kick this year. He's kicking you either Hayes or Renfro. That's the type of high kick that this boy boots. And get down there someone. If they can, they down it. And they, they downed it and carried it in. Well, they had him on the ropes if uh, they could have kept the ball in there. Right. The men that helped move the ball. Morton making a screen this way. The Reeves. Dan Reeves to the 35. Trying to pick up some blocking. And he's to the 47-yard line. A first down again for the Cowboys. First down. Morton faking again. He's going deep to Hayes, and he's got him! Bob Hayes catches the ball. He's down at the 13. There's a flag down in the back of the line of scrimmage in a fight, Bob Hayes and Jerry Logan going at it. There was a flag drop in the back of the line of scrimmage. Here's the catch by Hayes. Putback formation, the fake, and Morton throws the ball, and they had it wide open! Wide open! was Dwayne Thomas over there with Neely to convoy him into the end zone. Bombed out that wide uh, open play they had. Here's Morton. He's hit. He throws the ball, but a flag is down. In there on him is Billy Ray Smith, number 74. I think we'll get a grounding penalty. You rarely see it called, but I think that's what it'll be. If this is called, this is the first one we've seen this year, Kyle. Flag is down. The kick is good, but a flag has been dropped. Now let's see what it's about. It's offside against Baltimore. Being declined by Dallas, and they grab a 6-0 lead. Baltimore's gained only four yards passing. Unitas is one out of four. On third and ten, he's throwing, and it's over the head of Hinton. That is going to be an incomplete pass. If it was not touched by Dallas, if Dallas... Dallas may have ticked that ball. You cannot have a completion from one offensive man to another offensive man. And that's what the Cowboys are arguing. We'll see if we can see it. And here comes the ball. We'll see how many touch it. No, he didn't quite. Yes, it looked like somebody tipped it. It looked like it might have been Eddie Hinton. And there's Mackey, 88. After we get rid of this extra point, maybe a commercial. Moral holding. The kick by O'Brien is blocked. And it's a tie game. Baltimore got a big break. Coming through was Mark Washington to block the extra point. You cannot have a pass completion if the ball deflects from one offensive receiver to another. However, if it was touched in between by the defense, then it can be a completion. Big draw play. There's a rush again on United. He'll have to run it. He's to the 25. He fumbles! It's recovered by Jethro Pugh. Jethro Pugh on the ball, number 75. Morton, plenty of time. The pass complete to Reeves. Reeves is out of bounds inside the 10. He's out on the six and a half yard line team today. A fake. The pass to Thomas on the screen. They wipe him out, and Thomas is in for the touchdown. Wayne Thomas, and he got a great block. And Dallas has not had a turnover. And that's the story so far. Duncan takes it on the 8. Comes to the 20. He's up to the 30. 
This is a typical Duncan return as he runs it back to his 38-yard line. And the tackle is made there behind United. Jefferson right, hit and left. The pass is... There's going to be a flag. That's an interception, but I think you're going to have an interference call here. The pass was intended for Jefferson, and we have pass interference on Herb Adderley. Fakes to Bulash. He throws the ball deep to Hinton. It's intercepted. Now Renfro intercepting. Unitas knocked down as he let it go, and they had their extra point blocked. On third and eight. Here's a big rush against Morton. And Roy Hilton's on him, 85. And number 76 is Fred Miller. Morrow. Has time. Completes the pass to Eddie Hinton. And the ex-Oklahoma star has a first down on the Dallas 26. And they raise up and hit Roy Jefferson to the 11. He's going. The whistle is not blowing. And he goes to the five, and a flag is down, and a foul call on Dallas. And it's off to Bulash, and he's stopped. And Bulash trying to fight his way in. He can't do it. Bulash stopped again. What a defense down there in that goal line. They haven't budged an inch. They're going to pass for it. They shoot it out, and it's incomplete. They're trying to hit Tom Mitchell, the tight end, and he stumbled going into the end zone. Mitchell was trying to slither through. He stumbled. He was delayed coming off the line, held up. What a magnificent goal line defense by the Dallas Cowboys. At the end of the first half of the 1971 Super Bowl game, the score, the Dallas Cowboys 13 and the Baltimore Colts 6. If it's a tie, we'll have a sudden death. Here's the kick by Clark. Duncan fields it on the seven. He's to the 20. Oh, he fumbles, and he was really racked up, and the ball, he was hit by Claxton Welch, who jarred the ball loose. That's the fifth Baltimore turnover. T, they give it to Thomas, and Thomas trying to spin to that goal line, and he's in. Wait a minute, he fumbled at the goal line. He fumbled right at the goal line. And Dallas is unhappy now. He lost the ball as he spun back toward the goal line. That's the first turnover for Dallas, and it cost him six points. Dallas leading 13 to 6 in the third period. Right down the middle to Haverlack at the 30. Haverlack at the 35 to the 39. Morrow. Bad pass, right in the hands of Leroy Jordan. The kick is up there, and it is fading to the left. And is going to be dead on a on the one. one-inch line. Yeah. Dead on the one-inch line. You can't, that's almost like pitching pennies. Quarterback. Morrow is going deep. He's got the Watsky wide open. The Watsky at the... 15, right down the middle, and he had him wide open as he came out of the backfield. On third down, Morrow's pass is intercepted in the end zone. And it's intercepted there by Chuck Howley. That's his second interception. Six turnovers for Baltimore today. Haverlack. There's that old flea flicker. He just throws it away and uh, completes it to Eddie Hinton. Hinton at the 15. Fumbles the ball into the end zone. And on the ball is the loose ball and out of the end zone. And they're going to bring it out to the 20-yard line. Third down. In intercepted. Rick Burke at the 20. At the 10. Burks to the 2. Baltimore. First and goal. Milwaukee again, and he's in! Baltimore is in for the touchdown. The kick is good. It's a tie game. Slot right. Morton being chased by Bubba Smith. Unload, intercepted by Mike Curtis. Mike Curtis intercepts, and Baltimore has a chance now to win it. All right, here you are now. What a... And the 
kick is up. The kick is good. Kimmel Brown with five seconds. The Colts lead 16 to 13. One play for Dallas. Morton is going to Bob Hayes, and it is intercepted. That's the ball game. It is intercepted by Logan. The Baltimore Colts are the world professional football champions. They finished with a rush. Rick Boak intercepted their number 21. He helped set up the touchdown that tied it for the extra point. Mike Curtis intercepted a pass and took it into field goal position. And Jim O'Brien, a rookie, kicked the winning field goal with five. Here he is. That's it, friend? Yes.